A median in a triangle is a line which travels from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So if we consider, for example, triangle ABC, then the median from A will travel to the midpoint of the opposite side. In this case, the opposite side from A is BC. So it travels from A to the midpoint of BC. If we consider a different median in the triangle, let's say the median from C, then think about what midpoint we would want to use. What is the opposite side from C? Well, the opposite side from C is AB, so we'd want to use the midpoint of AB, and therefore the median from C would travel from C to the midpoint of AB. Okay, let's take a subheading of 1.1 medians. So, the thing you really need to know about a median, we've already discussed, a median goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. And when you see the word median, that's what you should think. A median goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, and say that out loud a couple of times. A median goes to the midpoint of the opposite side because you have to get that in there, you have to be thinking that. So the best way for me to, to demonstrate this to you is to just go straight into an example. And I should point out that the numbering of these notes will correspond with your, your green booklet. So 1.1 will give you examples on medians, 1.2 on altitudes and so on and so forth. So example 1.1a is going to say this. Triangle ABC has vertices. Vertices are just the points of the triangle. So as vertices A and A has got coordinates negative 3, 5. B will have coordinates 5, 1. And C will have coordinates 1, 7. So triangle ABC has vertices A, B and C as demonstrated. So we're going to say find the equation of the median from B. Find the equation of the median from B. Okay, so when we're tackling this kind of question, it's sometimes helpful to make a make a little sketch. Uh, I'm going to do this over at the side. You don't have to do it. Um, some people like doing it, some people don't. But for the purposes of this being our first level example, we'll just do a, a wee quick sketch and it's going to be very rough. There's my x-axis, there's my y-axis. I'll have a think, what's the biggest number on there? Seven, so the point one seven is on there. So I'll put this here. There's point 0.17, that's point C. A5 across, 1 up is here. I'm doing this roughly to scale. A, B is a point 0.51 and A is a point negative 0.35, which I guess is about there. So A is a point negative 0.35. So we have this triangle that we are dealing with. Okay, the question wants us to find the equation of the median from B. So let's go and do our solution over here and we will talk about what's required. Well, first thing to note is this. Uh, in higher math, same as in National 5, if you're asked to find the equation of any type of straight line, doesn't matter whether it's a median or anything else, a parallel line, a perpendicular line, if it's find the equation, we are going to be doing y minus b equals mx minus a, which means we're going to be taking three headings. And the three headings are point, gradient and finally we will work out the equation and PGE is sufficient just for the notes we're gonna write things out in full you can just write PGE as these headings point gradient and equation 
Okay, so referring back to the question, it's the equation of the median from B. Now, the one thing we know about medians is that a median goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. It's the median from B, so you should be thinking, where's that line going to go? It's going to go to the midpoint of the opposite side. The opposite side from B is AC. So AC is what I need to find the midpoint of. I find the midpoint of that line segment. So I'm going to take A and C and plot them down here. So negative 3, 5 and C will be 1, 7. And I'm going to find the midpoint of those two. Standard notation is a capital M for midpoint. Subscript AC to tell me what I'm finding the midpoint of. Add my two x's, divide by 2. So negative 3 add 1 is negative 2. Divide by 2 is negative 1. Add the two y's. 5 add 7 is 12. Divided by 2 is 6. OK, so I've now found the midpoint of AC. And now I want to know that gradient. I want to know the gradient between point B and that midpoint. So I'll take this midpoint up underneath the gradient. And then I'm going to put point B here. So point B is 5, 1. And it's always a good idea to write down the two coordinates that you're going to be using under your headings. It helps the marker follow your working. Small m for gradient. 1 subtract 6 on the top. 5 subtract negative 1 on the bottom. Remember, subtracting negative is the same as adding. 1 subtract 6 is negative 5. 5 add 1. 6. So just for the avoidance of any doubt, I'm going to rewrite that gradient, making sure the whole thing's a negative. Negative 5 6. Okay, a negative divided by positive makes the whole thing negative. Okay, so I have my midpoint, that's my first mark. I have my gradient, that's my second mark. My third mark is for finding the equation. And to find the equation, we are going to use y minus b equals m brackets x subtract a. So subbing into that equation, you will get y subtract b is going to be 6 in this case. Negative 5 6 is the gradient. And then x subtract negative 1 is the same as x add 1. It's worth pointing out that for the equation, I can use m or b. I always just use m because it's under the point heading and I like using that and that. But you could equally use 5 1 in this equation and you would get the same answer. Okay, so let's deal with this fraction then. I don't want to multiply out a fraction, so I'm going to say the 6 is dividing on this side. Let's do the opposite operation to this side. The opposite of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. So that whole side will get multiplied by 6, and I'll leave the minus 5 on this side, multiplying the x add 1. Multiplying out those brackets, I'm going to get 6y, subtract 36, equals minus 5x, subtract 5 which will give me a final answer of 6y, add 5x, equals minus 5, add 36, which is 31. So the equation of the median from b is 6y minus 5x, sorry, 6y add 5x, equals 31.